bringing health care back to the Lower West Side, let's get more specific. Um, we know that the 24-7 ER is coming to the O'Toole site. We're told from North Shore LIJ that it's going to be 110 million two beds, medical surgical beds. Um, I know there's some plans to add floors to that building, but what specific steps must be taken to, say, increase that site to make it a hospital? Do we want a hospital somewhere else? Who do we ask? How, what approvals do we need? What's the process to get a hospital? Yeah. Uh, so, um, uh, I have been told by some uh, media outlets that I have bold ideas, and I'd like to fill in some of the details here tonight. Uh, first of all, uh, one of the things that I've proposed is, um, and the coalition has proposed, we had engineers come and analyze the O'Toole building. I think what you're referring to is a two, two and a half bed hospital that currently is going to be there. And again, uh, after three years, we got the Department of Health to admit its obligation to have a hospital there. I don't believe a two and a half bed hospital is really a hospital. I think that that's just the Department of Health renaming uh, an urgent care center. That's just my opinion. Um, so what we did is we brought in engineers to analyze the building. And um, what those engineers said was that they could put four to six more floors. There's currently $139 million that's being set aside uh, to build that O'Toole building hospital center. And for the same or similar cost, we could put four to six more floors and have a 200 bed hospital there. Now, in order, uh, in order to actually build a hospital, whether it's there or whether we are looking long term to a full service hospital somewhere else, we need to be able to do uh, needs assessments. We need to be able to work with the, govern the governor, uh, with the state of New York, and with uh, the folks in Albany who are going to be willing and have to give us uh, the licensures and the, um, the operating uh, certificate of operation necessary for a hospital. I think we can look, there was, I believe, an almost 800 uh, bed certificate of need for St. Vincent, 700 and change. Uh, I think that that is no longer in existence. I don't know. We'd have to check the status of that. Uh, if we could reconstitute that certificate of need, that would certainly be great. Um, if not, we would have to basically start from square run, um, getting a certificate of need, doing a needs assessment. Although when we did a needs assessment a couple of years ago, it was determined absolutely that there was a hospital needed uh, for the district. Um, so I think the first step for, the, for, for us as a community is to get a 200 bed hospital at the site of St. Vincent's. That's a, good, that's a good stepping stone. It's not a full service hospital, it's not a level one trauma care, but that'll at least stop people from losing lives if they um, have a stroke or a heart attack or God forbid they're in an accident. Right now the two and a half bed hospital um, would only triage people and then transport them to a different location. What we need, at least in the immediate, is enough beds so that if somebody were in an emergency, they could actually use hospital services in the immediate. And then we need to look to longer term and bigger solutions in terms of level one trauma care. Of course. We have to continue to fight for a full service hospital for the Lower West Side. And I want a hospital. And if it's at the O'Toole site or if it's somewhere else, we have to figure out a site that works for the community. I think, as Yetta said, we have to work with Albany to make sure that the State Department of Health gives us a certificate of need for the community and that we actually make the case, and there is a case to be made, the numbers are staggering and they're real, about why we need a hospital. And I think one, one thing folks haven't talked about is we've already lost, I'm sure, countless lives with the closure of St. Vincent's because of ambulance times, because of people trying to get up to Roosevelt or to downtown hospital or across town. We have to fight for a hospital, whether it be a 200-bed hospital or a 400-bed hospital. We just need a hospital. There has been a creative plan talked about in the community to look at the St. John's building, which is a building at Houston Street and the West Side Highway. It's right across the street from Pier 40. It spans three blocks. Uh, and there's been talk of potentially doing a hospital there. It would still be in the heart of the West Village, so it wouldn't be farther away. And the folks, I'm told, and I don't have verification, but I'm told that the folks that own it are 
open to discussing that. They haven't said, we'll do a hospital, but they said, we're happy to talk about it. So I think we have to pursue every avenue possible to get a hospital. As I said at the beginning, we need a hospital so badly that, that we all have to work together, everyone, the community, elected officials, uh, you know, the unions, everyone to get a hospital back. And if I win or lose, I pledge to work with Yetta and whoever else to continue to fight for a hospital. Yes. Quick, quick follow-up on that. Um, you, you've mentioned two locations, uh, the O'Toole the, the site and, and Houston Street. Will either of you commit to be, being able to get approval and the process going within your first term on the council on one of those sites? It will be job number one for me. There's also talk of the Hudson Yards. I am agnostic in terms of where it happens, but there is no question we need and deserve a full service hospital for our But community. the question was as to when, in the first term. Job number one will be to continue the fight to restore a hospital. Court. Yes. Okay. Uh, in accordance with uh, Yetta's amazing powers of uh, psychic guessing of coins, uh, Corey will give the uh, uh, first closing statement. Uh, thank you all for coming tonight. Thank you.